Hi guys, welcome back to Body by JRTV. So today's video is a little bit different to our workout videos. You are in our kitchen. Um, and we have got six breakfast ideas for you today that are gonna be quick and easy to make and get you great results. Because it's so common that we hear that people don't have time or they get bored. So hopefully this video is gonna help you actually see how quick and easy it is to make these breakfasts and get the results that you want. And it's very easy for us to explain what we expect some of our clients with personalized meal plans, what we expect them to be doing in the kitchen, but it's probably a lot easier for us to show them what we're doing. Uh, remember if you uh, give us a like, leave us a comment below. If you haven't already, give us a subscribe. Stay tuned guys, because we've got the six recipes coming up shortly. So recipe number one what we have for you. Remember guys, just firstly, um, fat loss, you need to be fueling your body. You cannot starve the, the body fat off, all right? So we need to make sure we fuel correctly. Mm -hmm. So without further ado, Jordan. Okay, so number one, we have got um, a cereal granola yogurt option. I say that because you've got different options. We can use brown flakes, we can use Weetabix, and this is a really good low sugar granola as well. It's a little bit expensive, but for those that love granola, this is a great alternative to keep that sugar down, okay? So we're gonna have a bowl at the ready. I'm the chef in this household. <laughs> I'm right. just gonna pretend. So, a lot of people, um, a lot of our clients get a bit confused. You put the bowl on the set of scales and you press on. Right, so that's not gonna take into account the bowl now. So it says zero grams, I mean we work with grams. And we're gonna work around 30 to 40 grams of granola or two Weetabix or 40 grams of brown flakes, okay? Obviously you can use oats as well. All these options are obviously, um, you can get in gluten free, Products as well, so cases help. for everyone. In cases it? for everyone, yeah. So what we got going in there? We got a bit of milk going in there. We got a dash of milk. We're using skimmed milk, which is the red top. You can use almond milk, oat milk, Remember, coconut milk. If you're worried about exactly what you eat, you can zero it down. Yeah. Then click it over to ounces or mils. We're just gonna give it a quick dash. That goes in there. Yeah. Then some Greek yogurt, we're using to total 0%. You have got the dairy free options like Alpro, other 0% brands. We're gonna get a tablespoon of that in there, which is about 50 grams. The reason why we're adding that is because it's quite easy to add protein to your meal, just a dollop of Greek yogurt. Very, very simple, good technique to use to increase the protein content of that yeah. meal. We're then gonna add the chia seeds. You can have the option of using any other mixed nuts or seeds, but with these chia seeds, they are great antioxidants. They contain all your omega-3, and they've got good protein in them as well, and fiber. So we're gonna just sprinkle about five grams on there, which is actually quite a lot for um, mm -hmm. chia seeds. Zero it down, going in with some berries, any of your choice, 50 grams. Is a good amount. Yeah, really nice amount. Um, so in total with that, you can obviously add a bit more fruit, up to 100 grams of different mixed fruit. So you've got your cereal, you've got the Greek yogurt, a dash of milk, your nuts or seeds for your healthy fats, and then the fruit on top. That comes to a total of around 260 calories, which is 11 grams of protein, 44 carbs and three grams of fat. So that's a really low calorie meal, but it's got so many nutrients in it, okay? Depending on your goal, guys, if muscle building uh, or muscle maintenance is your goal, uh, maybe some of the guys that are watching, you may want to add a double scoop protein shake alongside, okay? So that's very simple how you can add the calories in there and a little bit more protein into that meal, mm, okay? Lovely. So that's number one. Don't that's, mix it up too much, because I want to eat done. that after. <laughs> that's done. Right, next bowl. What are we going in with? Okay, we've got our oats now. Where's our oats at? We're we going with Weetabix. Are we going to show them this? Do you need us to show how quick it is? Let's go for it, look. Two Weetabix. <laughs> this is how simple it is. I thought we were going on to number two. We can do number two in a sec. Ah. Look, some people get really confused as to how to make quick breakfast. Two Weetabix. Yes. Dash of milk. He says he's a chef, but he's actually just a control person. Control he likes, freak. He likes taking over control. Okay, I'm just trying to show, it's hopefully gonna be really informative. Yeah. Again, with this one, you can add a scoop of whey protein as well, um, just to increase the protein content uh, for a muscle growth and muscle maintenance. Mm -hmm. okay. Instead of using fruit as well, you can use agave nectar or 10 grams of honey, um, or add that as well no. as the fruit. Lovely, look at that. Okay, there's two. You don't need us to show you the brown flakes, you get the idea. Okay, it's just guys? really, really quick and easy. Just make sure you've got it all there. Bang, bang, bang. Thank you, ma'am. Right, guys, <laughs> stay tuned. We've got number two coming up next. 
Okay guys, so number two. We have a protein smoothie for you now, so you can't get any quicker than this. No. Nope. So we're going to need some oats, we're going to need some fruit, we've got a banana, we're going to need a blender, choice of milks, um, and we're also going to add some nut butter in there as well. If you are allergic to nuts and you don't want to, um, or you just don't like them and you can't put them in, you have got the option of dark chocolates, um, you can add even some oil, which isn't very nice in there, chia but seeds. chia seeds. Oil? Yeah, I mean, some flaxseed oil. Or yeah, like yeah. yeah. Um, in there to get them fats in there, okay? Okay, so we're gonna go with the unsweetened almond milk. There are some really great um, products like the coconut milks um, and obviously the soya as well, okay? The um, non-dairy milks like this do contain less sugar. So that's why uh, we're favoring it for this breakfast option because we're gonna get more sugars from the banana in there, okay? So I'm just gonna pour this in. I've zeroed the scale out. Not that I'm gonna use that because I'm just gonna go up to 150 mil because I know that the consistency, I like it, um, is about 150, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's about there. So with your oats, we're using gluten-free oats. You can use any oats that you've got. With this serving spoon, one spoonful is around 30 grams, which is a really nice size. If obviously you want more calories and more carbohydrates, then put double the amount in, okay? Obviously that's goal dependent, all right? Yeah. Again, we do offer personalized meal plans, so if you do need help with your macros and obviously a plan, we can do that for you, okay? So we're gonna go in with a banana, like that, done. I've already done the whey protein here. Now there's a wide selection of products out there um, and available. I mean, this particular one is white chocolate flavor. I mean, you can't get any better than that. <laughs> and that's chocolate. just um, that's just one scoop of protein in there, okay? We're then going in with the nut butter. Because this is gonna be like a Snickers kind of protein a shape. Snickerdoodle. I mean, who doesn't like Snickers, eh? So we're using <laughs> crunchy nut butter. One tablespoon is around 25 grams. Bit sticky, that one. <laughs> Okay, sorry, that's our five month old next to us. She can't be, she can't be out of our sight. Well, she, we can't be out of her sight, <laughs> So the lid goes on. Pop that on, make sure it's secure in a nice food processor or blender. On, we're gonna go blend. Oh, what's that? Wazz it up, as they want it to say. Give it 30 seconds, maybe. Okay, we cancel that. That's nice and blended. There's a bit of suc suction on the lid there. Okay, and I've got here a glass with some ice, and I've decorated it. And this is, um, <laughs> I'll turn this around, it is actually a Copperberg, just a cider. But obviously you can use a protein shaker or whatever. Pour it from like. height, just to get that effect. <laughs> Ray just thinks he's in Mexico or something. Like Ainsley Harriet. <laughs> okay, look at that. That's Anyone would think I've done it before. <laughs> okay, so that is a protein shake um, smoothie, which is really, really quick and easy to make. What calories with, are you looking at? So with them ingredients amounts that we gave you, that's looking at around 465 calories, 35 grams of protein, 41 carbs, and 18 fats. So that is a really nice balanced um, meal there, and it's quick and easy, and for, especially for you. Oh. The, especially for you that go to work via public transport or driving and you say that you don't have time if you make this while you're brushing your teeth or jumping in the shower just quickly go and get it you can grab it as you're leaving the door it can be done and the night it, before as well yeah you can put it in the fridge the night before as well Absolutely. but there is no <laughs> media <Hey. laughs> there is no excuses for that breakfast okay done meal number one of the day make sure you get that in guys yeah, alright I'll have a try that mm. Smart, yeah. Snickers Mm. Oh. oh, that's lovely. I mean, obviously, we're going to be biased and, and say it's really good, but there's no excuses, guys. You can do that. Mm. And um, I, I, put some, I put some ice cubes in there as well. Yeah. All right. So, Media stay monster. tuned. <laughs> number three coming up. Next up, guys, number three, as promised, we have overnight oats. This is okay. Ray's favourite. All right, so you prep it the night before. It takes literally as long as it's going to take us. Again, uh, we're going to go in with the unsweetened almond milk. We're going to add banana to this recipe as well. So we want to watch the, the sugars. Um, I know from experience that that's going to work out about right. 120 mils of that. In with the whey protein, white chocolate flavour again. But if you want a different taste, you could have banana. You could have um, chocolate. 
Uh, there's so many uh, yeah. varieties and flavours. And of, just to uh, point out, this is just whey protein. It's not a gainer, it's not a diet whey, a meal replacement whey. It's just a pure whey protein, okay? We're going in with the banana. And you may ask, where's the oats? The oats are gonna stay in their whole form, okay? So Jordan's gonna add yep. 30 grams when I take this um, off. So this is as well gold dependent. We're gonna go with around 50 grams actually, because Ray's hold me 50 grams. Um, but gold dependent, you can use less or you can use more. So. 20. Spill it all over the table. <laughs> Precious oats going everywhere. Oh, hey, come on, Joel, keep going. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we've got 50 grams. This, so we've got the milk, the whey protein, and the banana. That's going onto the blender. Blend that all up. Okay. Cancel that. Nice and blended, again, and, wash the suction. And also you can use other fruit, you don't have to use a banana, you can use berries, you can use um, apple, you can use grapes. We, we, we're using banana because it just adds a really nice... Um, thicker consistency. Yeah. So we pour this over the dry oats, okay. That goes on there. And then we're going to mix this all up. Make sure you get every, all the dry oats coated mm. in the... The liquids, okay. So it's a bit. It should be a bit runny right now. Trust me, it will. What will happen overnight is the oats will expand. And I'm absorb. laughing because you should see him eat this in the morning. It goes in seconds. It goes in seconds, and if you dare talk to him when he eats it, woo. Okay. So cling film over the top like that. Okay. Done. And that, one gets a bit sticky. and that just goes straight in the fridge so you can do that the night before when you get in from work before you go to bed and when you wake up in the morning you don't even have to think about it you just open the fridge and it is there so for that portion that we gave you with 50 grams of oats and a banana again gold dependent you can have less or you can have more it is around 400 calories 30 grams of protein 50 grams of carbohydrates and 8 grams of fats. The fat is quite low in that one. Again, if you want to have more calories, you can add more fats to it. Okay, and then what you do is you do that first thing in the morning, take the cling film off, it's going to be nice and soaked up, give it a little stir, and then add the toppings of your choice. Yep. As we say, the toppings can be gold dependent, all right? So you can add 30 grams of mixed nuts or some ground almond, ground almonds in there. 30 grams of ground almonds. Look at him, he's getting all excited now. I mean, that would give it a nutty flavour. It would just give it that nice nut, banana nut flavour that is, is goes hand in hand. You could even, if you feel a bit cheeky, put some Nutella on there. Oh, that is cheeky. That is really cheeky, all right? Yeah. So um, enjoy that one, guys. Experiment with toppings. Yep. And as we say, Voila. two minutes and it's done. Stay tuned. Number four coming up. Okay guys, so we're back with number four. So we're gonna get actually cooking now, but fear not, it's not gonna to take too long at all. All right, so what we got, yeah. Jules? So we're gonna have a three egg omelette. You don't have to do it as an omelette. You can have scrambled egg, fried egg. Poached egg obviously takes a little bit longer, okay? But this does not take long at all. We're going in with some fry lights, so a one yeah. cow spray. One cow spray. A lot of people do use oils. These are where the calories do add up. So try and opt for um, a lower calorie alternative. One cow is just perfect. So we've got a um, little bit of oil gone in there. We've got three eggs in this pan. In this pan, I'm just going to grill some asparagus and a, a tomato, okay? Actually, do you know what? I'm going to get the asparagus and tomato on first. So we're just going to chop the tomato in half. I've got one of these griddle pans here. So just stick them face down, okay? Uh, your asparagus, I mean, it can be any vegetable. Asparagus, we just like it. It's yeah. a good brunch meal, this one, as well, at the weekend. Spinach, broccoli. Good tip with this one. You get the woody bit at the end of the asparagus. So just Bend them where they snap, that's the woody bit, okay? This is the good bit. I mean, you're wasting quite a bit there. Well, not wasting, but it's just, I personally don't like that woody bit. Is it actually called woody? It's like that woody, <laughs> like that hard bit, okay? Asparagus, stick it in lengthways. You get like them kind of griddle lines across the sides, okay? And obviously, we need to season. Yeah, we've got to love a bit of salt and pepper. Sorry, that's our daughter. And salt pepper in there. Just leave that, that will be starting, all right? Um, we're going in with three eggs. Yeah. Crack them on the sides. There. 
By the way, I would be helping, but he tells me that uh, there's only one chef. Well, no, it's not that. It's just too many cooks for the broth. You know, you ever heard that saying? George, you can put the salt and pepper in, in the eggs. Oh, thanks. All right, but we're making an omelette, so we're going we're gonna to mix it all together. Okay. Mix it all together nice and quick. Remember, the, the whole point of this video is we want to show you yeah, quick, quick ways to make your breakfast. Okay, yeah. so that's going to be in there. We're going to give that a few minutes. So we put the eggs in whole and then we mix them up when they're actually in the pan and then it will cook into an omelette om form and then we'll fold You don't it. have to do that guys, you can put the eggs in a bowl, yeah. mix them up with a fork and then pour it in there but I just yeah. wanted to show you that it can be done really really quickly, you don't have to worry too much about yeah. you know, spending too much time in the kitchen as I say. And also you can add things like mushrooms, spinach if you want to, we're just going to use eggs, asparagus and tomatoes. Cook the eggs any style using a one cow spray and it comes out a really low calorie of 210 calories, 18 grams of protein, 3 grams of carbs and 14 grams of fat. So again, goal dependent. If you want this as more of a brunch option, you can add a slice or two of toast. Or if you want this as a breakfast option, you can add a whole meal bun into it or a bagel tin or even some toast as well. Or, or just, even if you're uh, you know, someone that wants to build muscle, yeah. maintain muscle, maybe you want a bit of bread, a whole meal. Bread. That's exactly what I just said. I recommend it. <laughs> okay. So just loosening that off. Obviously you do need a, a non-stick pan, but <laughs> won't be long. Okay. Lovely. Your, your eggs loosened off. And we just fold over one half. Okay. I mean you can flip it, but because we're on YouTube. Um, I don't really want to flip it and not make a success, success out of it. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just fold it in half, okay, and then I'll just fold it back over like that. And that's done. The asparagus is, is cooking nicely in there. The tomatoes, we'll turn them around 90 degrees because then you get the, the crosses on the griddle pan on, on the tomatoes <laughs> if you're being Pedantic. Pedantic, like you. Right, okay. I think that's done. Okay, we'll serve it up. I mean, that literally took a couple of minutes, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got omelette on the pan, on the plate. Turn that off. And then we've got our grilled asparagus and then our tomato. Oh, oh, look, oh, look at look. that. I think you need a close up of that. I mean, that. Can, everyone, can anyone see that? No, I think you need to go up for the camera. What we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll put a picture on straight after, okay? No, I'll, put, I'll bring the camera over. Okay, well... That is number four. Yeah, and that is perfect. Then tomatoes, I would get them in a hotel. That's amazing. You can add, I'm a ketchup girl, I absolutely love tomato ketchup. So we use the low calorie, low uh, sugar um, tomato ketchup. You have got reduced sugar barbecue sauce if you wanted to, but just be careful because that is where calories do add up if you use the full fat and full sugar versions as well. Yeah, always opt for low uh, calorie condiments guys because it's very easy to add a condiment to each of your meals and then before you know it you've added a few hundred calories, yeah. particularly things like barbecue, sweet chili mm -hmm. sauces, things like that. Alright guys, so stay tuned. Number five coming up. Okay. Number five, guys. Yeah, we've got another hot option. So we are going to be using turkey bacon with wholemeal or brown bread. So it's going to be a turkey bacon sandwich. Alternatively, bacon sandwich. You can have a bacon yeah, sandwich. A bacon that sandwich. Place. Alternatively, you have got vegetarian sausages you can use, which take 15 to 20 minutes in the oven. So obviously, that just takes a little bit more preparation time to make sure you actually remember to turn the oven on and cook it 15 to 20 minutes before. But again, this option, a bacon sandwich, does not take long. So watch carefully. Okay. So we've just got bread that we have in the freezer. Okay, we just buy a loaf already sliced and we've just, yeah. just got these out of the freezer. So they're gonna go straight in the toaster. There, turn it on, knock it down. Okay, it's gonna be two minutes. In the meantime, got a pan that's been getting hot. We're gonna spray it with some more one cow. Yeah, again, using a, one, uh, a low calorie spray because oils do add up in calories. We've got these turkey rashers. Uh, lightly smoked as well, just preference of ours. And they're only 32 calories a slice, so Ray is going in with four slices, but you can have two slices or gold dependent, you can have more if you like a thick bacon sandwich. 
But Ray's going to go in with four slices, okay? They're at 32 calories each. Okay. With the vegetarian sausages, they are higher in fat, so we would recommend um, two sausages dependent on goal again. Okay, so again, a couple of minutes, uh, probably one minute aside on those, um, those bacon slices. Um, yeah. All right, the toast is, is cooking. And um, with the bread, if you wanted to add a little bit of butter, like five to 10 grams, that is around 70 calories. So please bear in mind them calories do add up as well. Um, but looking at the ingredients that we've got today, are four rashers with two slices of bread, you're looking at around 270 calories, 29 protein, 31 grams of carbs and two grams of fat. So it's actually a really nice balanced meal to have for breakfast and it is healthy as well. Again, we're gonna go in with some low calorie ketchup. You have got low calorie barbecue and other sauce options as well. But please do be careful that you don't, or try not to use the full sugar ones because that again is where the calories do add up and make these options not as healthy as we're trying to obviously promote them right now. All right guys, so again, uh, who would believe it? You can have a bacon sandwich. It and get smells into it. amazing. I mean, we've got the smoked one with the bacon, so oh, you get I've that had kind bacon of smoke. So long. Um, yeah. Mm. Again, you know, personalised meal plans. You know, we can, we do construct them. So, in the comments below, oh, sorry, in this video description below, you can check out the link to that. Yeah. But I think we're just about ready. Oh, look at that. The toast probably going to need a, another minute. <laughs> it's a bit pale. It's a bit pal. We keep our bread in the freezer because we don't we we do use it quite often but not enough to buy a loaf and use it in a couple of days. So we always keep two loaves in the freezer and just use it as and when we need it. It keeps the bread longer, uh, for fresher for longer as well. And believe it or not, when you actually do defrost it and you are toasting it, it tastes so fresh as well. Okay. Perfecto. So, we have that there. Well, we got a bit of ketchup on. A bit yeah. of Tommy K. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so bacon Look from the at pan, that. straight in, and you've just seen that it's just took us two minutes. Yeah, and you can do that as well. Cut it into triangles or squares, whatever you fancy. What do we do? We and take it, it on to there. work. Wow, look at that. Put it on there, and you can eat this cold as well, guys. You don't need to have it hot. Okay. Wow. Voila. All right. So. There we have bacon sarnie number five. Stay tuned, we've got number six coming up. Okay guys, so we are back here for number six. What we got then, Jude? Yeah, so Ray's let me do this one. Um, she so, cannot do it wrong. <laughs> so this, Surely not. This option is a mixed fruit salad, which is a really lovely option for when you go on holiday, but also in the summer where you don't really fancy a hot bowl of, of porridge or something, and it is really, really quick and easy to do, and it caters for everyone's likes. So we've got a bowl of mixed fruit in here. We've got a small banana. We've got about 10 strawberries, about 10 grapes, and a ham of berries okay so it's a nice selection of mixed fruit and not too much in one portion we're then going to go in with a 0% Greek yogurt again like our previous videos you don't have to use 0% Greek yogurt you can use a dairy-free alternative or the full fat yogurt but today we're actually going to be adding the nuts so we want the fats to come from the nuts and also on the yogurt topic please try and avoid the yogurts that say fat free with honey or fat free with strawberry they actually contain more sugar and you're better off getting the <laughs> sorry and you're better off getting the 0% yogurt and adding your own to it okay so we're just going to add around 100 grams of Greek yogurt which is which is around um, three tablespoons. We're then gonna add our healthy fats. We're gonna go in with some cashew nuts, about 15 grams. You can add different nuts to your preference, or you can add dark chocolate or nut butter or mixed seeds. Now for that portion that we've just given you of the mixed fruit. <laughs> wow, good noisy today. For that portion that we have just given you with the mixed fruit, the Greek yogurt and the nuts on top, is around 260 calories. 17 grams of protein, 34 carbs, and seven grams of fat. So it's a really, really nice low calorie breakfast or even a snack option that's got a really nice balance of macronutrients in there as well. Hey guys, if you're like me, you like a little bit of spice in your life, um, I like to have a little bit of cinnamon on top. You can go with a bit of nutmeg as well. Yeah. Um, but that's just nice. It just, it just, um, I mean, cinnamon's got properties such as uh, the sugars can release into your bloodstream a little bit slower as well. So just get that. 
kind of benefit there with the cinnamon, but um, again with all the other uh, breakfast options, you can do that too. Yeah, um, and also with this one, you can also go on top with honey or agave nectar um, to make it a little bit sweeter. But just make sure that your macros and calories allow you to do so. Okay guys, so that concludes your six quick and easy breakfast options. We do hope that you found that informative and a great help to actually watch us prepare the breakfast. Um, yeah. And all them options we gave you range between about 250 to 450 calories. So they're a really nice um, portion size to actually accommodate all goals, but obviously goal depending if you wanted to increase them calories, then you have got movement to do so. But for fat loss goals, they are perfect. Okay, so what we're going to make sure, depending on the feedback from this video, we're going to get some more meal options to you. Lunches, dinners, snacks. Just let us know your feedback so we know uh, what you guys are expecting from us. Um, and if you haven't already, give this video a like. Leave us a comment if you need to ask us a question. Or if you do have any inquiries about personalised meal uh, like diet plans, um, we also do training plans as well, home or at the gym. Um, please, um, you'll see our video, uh, our website link in the description below. And um, yeah, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Yeah, and um, also all of them options are breakfast options that we gave. You can obviously use them for snack options, but it is really, really important and we really must emphasise, do not skip breakfast. Yeah, I mean, that they all look tasty, right? <laughs> we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks.